Today we are troubleshooting a heater problem with a Pentair Master Temp 400 gas pool heater or spa heater. It has uh, been cycling between heating for about a minute and a half and then shutting off, blower still running, and then kicking back on. So uh, we are going to test the temperature regulator, which is the most common problem for this heater. And uh, I'll start by putting actually this one in and because we originally replaced, this is the old one, which we replaced with the new one and uh, we're having a problem still. So we're going to take this, this is designed to open up and allow water to flow through it at 130 degrees. It's stamped on the bottom 130 degrees. So we're going to stick this in our water, which is set right now at about 100 degrees it looks like. So we'll go ahead and lower this into 100 degree water and see if it opens up. It shouldn't. It should stay closed. Give it a minute and we'll lift it out and take a look at it. And it is still closed so that's good. Now we're going to add hot water to this. So we drained a little bit of water out so we have room to raise the temperature. We see we're still right at about 100 degrees and if we look at it inside we can see that it is still not open. So we're going to go ahead and add 200 degree water all the way up to the top here and until we get hopefully about 150 degrees on the temperature, the thermometer itself. So we can see it's raising up here. It's up to 150 degrees. Let's take a look. And it's just also called a thermostat. You see these in radiators of cars and so on. It's at 150 degrees and it's still not opening. Now it should. And just to show the difference, we're going to take the old one that we took out and put in there, which we thought was bad, uh, but we're going to go ahead and stick it in next to it and hold it right about there. And we'll take a look at how it responds. And 150 degrees. You can see it now slowly starting to open. A little bit of light shining in that crack right there. And it's opening further and further. So we know at 150 degrees, this one that we took out as being faulty, at least it opens at 150. Now we'll go back and test this one at 130, which is the desired temperature, and see if it opens at 130. Just for comparison's sake, this is the other one, the brand new one, and we see it still is not opening. Okay, so we've set the thermostat back in cold water just to uh, reset it and see it closes under cold water. Now uh, we've added some cold water to this one, so we're right at about 125 degrees. And so we'll set this in here for a minute. It'll take a minute for the metal to warm up. But it should get us pretty close. Looks like we're at about 110 degrees on the thermometer. And let's see if we're getting any action yet. We shouldn't really be. And looks like we're not. But we're gonna go ahead and add some hot water in now, a little bit at a time until we raise that up to 130. So we'll pour some in there. Temperatures creep into 120, 125. Let's add a little more water in there. This is uh, 200 degree water. Okay, we're creeping right to, right at 130, maybe a tad more water. That's good. And let's see if we're getting any action out of this guy. Yep, sure enough starting to see light. So this thing is working right at 130 degrees. It's opening up. So this this um, thermoregulator or thermostat, whatever you want to call it, is working properly.